Hello, Financial Algebra people. Welcome to the second part of break-even analysis using Google Sheets. In the first video, we took the revenue equation and the expense equation, and we set them equal and then put it into standard form. So now what we're going to do is use the quadratic formula, and we're going to use Google Sheets to do, do that for us. So what you see is the coefficients from the equation. In cell A1, we have what's called coefficient A. Cell A2 is coefficient B. And cell A3 is coefficient C. And we're going to plug those into the quadratic formula. Now, be careful uh, with the use of parentheses in the quadratic formula. So, we set equals with the parentheses. Now the whole numerator has to be in parentheses, so I'm going to add a parentheses, and we're going to start off with negative b. So it's going to be negative cell a2. The quadratic from is a plus and a minus. We just have to do it twice, so I'm going to say plus. Now we're going to do the square root. Google Sheets has a function for that, square root. And what we're going to now do is put the square root into parentheses. So that's going to be b squared, which is a2 squared minus 4 times a, which is cell a1, times c, which is cell a3, close the parentheses for the square root, close the parentheses for the numerator, and now we're going to divide by 2a, so we're going to divide and put the denominator into parentheses. 2a is 2 times a1, close the parentheses for the denominator, close the parentheses for the whole function, it equals and we have $8.078, which is $8.08. .08. That's our first break-even point. Now we're going to do the same equation again with uh, putting a minus sign instead of a plus sign. So I wonder if there was a way I could do that without retyping the whole thing. But I'll just retype the whole thing because it might be a good help equals parentheses negative b this time minus oh I forgot an extra parentheses for the numerator the original parentheses is for our Google Sheets function the second parentheses is for our numerator negative b now we're going to do minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. Close the square root parentheses. That's our numerator, so close another parentheses for the numerator. Then we will divide, and then we put the denominator in parentheses. 2a, 2 times a1, parentheses for the denominator, parentheses for the whole function. And we get $58.92. So the break-even points are $8.08 and $58.92. So let me just put that into here. The break-even points. dollars and eight cents and fifty eight dollars 
and 92 cents. And just to refresh what we're doing, the break-even points are those points where your business would neither make money nor lose money. That is where revenue equals expense, and we use Google Sheets to solve our quadratic formula for us. So let me stop this and post it to your Google Classroom.